Um, hello, good afternoon again. Um, so thank you for asking me to present uh, this quality improvement project uh, that we did at Queen's fairly recently. Um, we looked at the trauma scoops uh, that we're using uh, for our major trauma patients, specifically with regard to complications associated with them and some of the alternatives available on the market that I think we should probably mo be moving towards. So I'm going to talk to you today about the background for the project, how we did it, um, the results with regard to how long patients are on scoops for, when they're removed during scan and why that's happening, and the radiation dose exposure, which I think is the most interesting aspect to it. And then I'll show you some of the commercially available alternatives on the market. So the reason we're using scoops, why, why do we use them at all for our polytrauma patients? It's all about careful patient handling. And the reason that we're very conscious of this is because of pain, so discomfort for the trauma patients as we're moving them about. And they have less pain if we're careful about that. Clot stability is really important, so for the blunt polytrauma patient with uncontrolled occult hidden hemorrhage, that first clot is really key, and avoiding dislodging that is essential. And then spinal immobilization, so if a patient has an unstable spinal injury, you need to be very careful how we're moving them, and a scoop is a great way to achieve all of these goals. And it's been used pre hospitally for many years, uh, but much of our consensus guidance about scoops is that it shouldn't be used for longer than 45 minutes. And if we're going to be using them for longer than that, we, we should be considering transferring them in on an alternative device, which pragmatically doesn't actually exist at the moment in most of the pre hospital services. So the auditor, the aim of our audit, the primary outcome measure was to look at how long patients are on scoops for, from the point of application pre hospital to their removal in ED after their scan. Our secondary outcomes were how frequently scoots were removed in CT. And the reason they're being removed is because the head of the patient was too close to the buckle at the top and they couldn't get meaningful images from the CT heads. And then we also looked at the radiation dose between patients on and off scoops. So we prospectively looked at 35 cases that came through the ED. We documented the time the scoop was applied pre-hospital, the time they went to CT, and the time it was removed after CT. And the importance of that will be clear in a few minutes. We then looked at, over a two-week period, how frequently these, C these scoots were being removed in CT to facilitate the head scan. And then we looked at 20 head scans on a scoop, 20 head scans off a scoop, the radiation difference, and we did the same for the body scans. So with regards to the results, the median time that a patient is on a trauma scoop was two hours and 15 minutes, well in excess of that 45-minute pre-hospital target. If we remove the scoop before they went to CT scan, which is where I am advocating we should be doing so, so if we remove the scoop onto one of these trauma mattresses we're going to talk about at the end, before you go to CT, you reduce this time to one hour, 25 minutes, so a significant reduction in the length of time they're on this hard device. About one patient a week had to be de-scooped during their scan. It's about 50 patients in a year. And the reason this is important is that once they're de-scooped and they've had their scan, they're then to be log-rolled onto a board to get them off the CT scanner. And we're putting them at risk from clot disruption and spinal injury unnecessarily by doing this. Now, the radiation dose, this is a different, different kettle of fish, really. So, Public Health England um, published what they call a national dose reference level. It's advice to hospitals to say, for your head scans, you should not exceed this dose. So, for a head scan, it's 970, and their unit is a milligray centimetre. And for a body scan, it's 1,000. So, how did we do with our patients? Well, firstly, the patients who were on a scoop had one and a half times higher radiation doses. So, a head scan was about 680, but on a scoop, that's over 1,000. And a body scan is about 320, but on a scoop, it's nearly 500. So significantly higher doses of radiation. And the head scans themselves on a scoop exceed the Public Health England recommended maximum level. And given what Dr. Armstrong was saying earlier about the paediatric population, this is even more relevant for them as well. So what's the solution? Well, there are loads of commercially available uh, trauma mattresses on the market. Uh, Medtree make this vacuum mattress, which I've used in Stoke. It's excellent. And Ferno, the same company who make the scoops, make this trauma mattress as well. I'm advocating that as the patient comes into ED on their scoop, 
from the ambulance service. They're placed on a trolley with one of these mattresses already on it. You do your primary survey, you resuscitate your patient, you de-scoop them, you immobilise them on this device and you go to scan. And by doing so, we'll minimise pressure-related complications because they're on a hard device for shorter periods of time. We'll improve patient comfort. And I suspect, anecdotally, those slightly obtunded patients who are uncomfortable, who we're needing to anaesthetise or sedate, I think with a bit of analgesia and a comfortable trauma mat, we'll probably get through scan without having to do a huge amount. We'll reduce the radiation exposure and we're going to improve their image quality from the CT because it's not going to be on that device requiring higher doses of radiation. So we're going to present this at the Major Trauma Forum on 28th of January and we're going to use it, hopefully, to write a business case to get the trust to buy some trauma mattresses. So fingers crossed. Thank you very much. And do we have any questions, please?